Is there a dark side to bass fishing tournaments? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Become part of the team and family. Thank you. There it is. I'm going to say it easy, quick and easy. Thank you to all new subscribers, all the new members, all the people who are interacting on the channel. It really is amazing. I really am. I just really think it's awesome. It's humbling. It's just amazing. I appreciate all of you, so thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be. It's quick, easy, and it's free. So click the button and become part of the team and family. Is there a dark side to professional bass fishing? The simple answer is yes. Professional fishing is a pay-to-play tournament. And when you're in a fishing tournament where you're trying to or competing for a lot of money, it takes away a lot of the fun. These days, anglers are more promotional marketers and the organizations sell that time to those anglers. And it's their job to promote their sponsors themselves and create that brand. And with the constant amount of rule changes and cheating allegations and bickering and disputes and pettiness that is in professional bass fishing, this is one of the many dark sides of tournament fishing. And with the opportunity for anglers to skirt that gray area and try to compensate and try to win and compete at the highest level. There are anglers that will do anything that they can to win. And it's the competitive nature within those anglers to win. One of the dark sides of professional fishing is the extreme costs it takes to become an angler. There are many great anglers that stay in the bottom level tournaments and they're trying to work their way up trying to learn the learn how to fish different areas different styles but getting to that top level is mind-boggling in how much it actually costs and if you don't have the backing behind you while you get into the invitationals or the opens you will quickly find yourself in a ton of debt which will only put stress on you but also put stress on the way that you fish new anglers that are up and coming that are going through the opens and the invitationals and all the other leagues if they do not have a solid financial backing they will find they can find themselves in a lot of trouble really fast and while it's a dream to be a professional angler for a lot of people it's almost unrealistic right now because it's unbelievably expensive and while you have the pay to play and you have the cost that it, it takes, and you have people skirting the line. There's so many other issues that make bass fishing have a dark side, like snagging fish or the fish survival and conservation. While I appreciate five fish coming across the stage, at some point we need to look at that format and say, is this the right way of doing things? And that's not me taking a shot at bass or anybody that puts five fish fish across the stage because that does bring in more drama but it also brings in people to show up for the weigh-ins but we have to have some sort of conservation minded anglers or organizations and do more for fish survival and the conservation of our hobby and i mentioned people who skirt that line but the rules need to be set and the infractions that happen need to be told and there's no excuses on if if someone breaks it, does something wrong, or there's an infraction, there's a standard of what people can do or what the penalty is. And for years, there's been too many, too many times where it's been swept under the rug. And as we've known, and as we've known for years, the organizations don't want to hurt an angler's reputation or hurt their career if they're cheating. And that's unacceptable. That is a dark side to this hobby. Another dark side to professional bass fishing right now is the technology. The technology is either loved or hated. Either you love going out there and catching fish or you dislike it because it's a cheater box as it's been told to people. But if your job is to catch fish, you need to use what you can to catch fish. Like it or dislike it. And I dislike it. But if you're a professional angler, you should know how to use that forward-facing sonar and technology is just one other is one of the many issues of why there's a lot of dark sides of professional bass fishing 
One of the last things I'm going to say is that really I've noticed a lot recently is the anglers that are jealous of some of the other people. There's pettiness, there's jealousy, there's people talking smack at all times. There's lots of things that go on within the anglers that needs to stop. I understand chirping a little bit and having fun and being competitive, but at some point in time, the anglers need to sit down and say, look, we're only hurting ourselves when we're hurting each other. This is really common right now. There are way too many content creators and anglers that just spew anything that they think to come out of their mouth. They don't do the research. They don't look into what it what they're saying. And then they say it, and then it has a real ripple down effect throughout the industry. And I'm not gonna point out anyone in particular, but there's way too many people that just want to get you to click on their stuff for controversy clicks. And at some point in time, we as a community and as a hobby need to put our foot down and say, look, this person needs to stop. This is not good for anyone. And that includes mostly the anglers. And I'm not talking about anyone in particular, but these days the anglers really are hurting themselves when they talk smack about each other. They need to become a community and force changes that help them become better. Because right now we're seeing sponsorships vanish. And I mean vanish. When you have sponsorships like Skeet Reese, who has been was with Pure Fishing for 20 plus years, out of nowhere vanish. It's saying there's something going on within the industry. And it is a dark side. It's a really dark side of bass fishing right now. I think this is the lowest part we've seen in a long time. I always felt like the split was where things really changed everything. And then we had COVID where we got a giant boost within the industry and within money, influx of money that came in. Now these days, I don't know if it's jealousy or petty, but these days, anglers are hurting themselves as much as anyone. But these are some of the things I see as a dark side of professional bass fishing from an outsider's view. And I don't know if there's any way to fix it. Well, I do think there's ways to fix it. But I think the anglers are important to do it, and I think they have to get rid of pay to play. I think it's a, a dire must right now. Or reduce the entry fees, because I think as long as the expenses keep, keep creeping up for these anglers, and having the financial backing that it really takes to be an angler, and sponsorships vanishing, I think we have a real weak point in our hobby. And it's almost a little bit scary. And I'm just a little, this big, content creator. But what do you think? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers. Thank you. Tight lines.